Come on down to Cinemassacre Video, where selection is the name of the game. We got comedy, drama, action, horror, movies for kids, movies for mom and dad. We got the newest releases, the hottest video games, even Laserdisc. Our friendly staff is always there to help out, and with our state-of-the-art database software, it's easy to find exactly what you're looking for, even if it sucks. Cinemassacre Video, in the Voorhees Memorial Shopping Center next to Caldor. But first, a message from our sponsor. Want to start your path on becoming an industry professional? Check out Skillshare.com. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in subjects like graphic design, game design, fine arts, music production, video production, animation, technology, cinematography, and much, much more. Get the clues you can use to become a cinematic Tyrannosaurus, just like me. Skillshare is fun and easy to use, allowing you to learn at your own pace so you can perfect your craft. And if you already have the skills to pay the bills, you can become a Skillshare teacher. And the first 500 people to sign up with the link in the description will get not one month, but two months of Skillshare premium free. Just pay shipping and handling. Users do not actually pay shipping and handling, just kidding. So take control of your creativity and check out Skillshare.com today. All right, so we're going to do something a little different here. We're going to talk about movies that you changed your mind on. And this could mean, uh, you know, one way or another. You could have seen it and hated it and then changed your mind and loved it. Or you could have loved it and then hated it. And you can go back and forth more times than that if, <laughs> if it happened, because uh, mine I actually did. But uh, um, So I guess I'll just start it off and say the movie that I changed my mind the most on was The Cable Guy with Jim Carrey. Mm -hmm. Now... This movie came out and it seemed like everybody hated it. And I remember like when a, a major movie is getting like one star ratings, uh, mm. um, yeah. you know, by critics and everything. And you're thinking like, okay, this has got to be horrible. I watched it. Now, the first time I saw The Cable Guy, I loved it. I thought it was really funny. And it, it actually was, it wasn't just that, but there was like this weird, like awkwardness to it that, that made it funny. Mm. And I kind of saw it as like this... It's almost a little bit like a like a thriller about this psychologically deranged cable guy, yeah. and he's yeah. basically destroying this guy's life. Mm. And I'm just like, this is actually kind of like a thriller with some humor in it. Yeah. But my friends call me Chip. Years go by, maybe ten years or something. I watch it again, and then I'm just very underwhelmed I'm like okay this is uh, why did I like this now I see what everybody's talking about this movie sucks then I watched it one more time after that and then I'm back to loving it so <laughs> I almost feel like there's two different realities where this movie keeps switching because you hear because it's so polarized or some people like it some people yeah. don't so I almost feel like the cable guy is real and he's actually switching the channel <laughs> on you and like making you playing with your mind. Yeah. I really like I saw it in theaters as a kid. So I just liked it from the get-go because it was Jim Carrey, but I've appreciated it the more I've gotten older. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those jokes that were like hidden uh -huh. like layered, I'm like, oh this is great. This is great. It is something that probably aged, you know, like better now as an adult watching it. Because I remember as a kid I was like, oh, this isn't Ace Ventura. I love Ace Ventura. Yeah. Like what's yeah. That all about? I think. I, you, yeah. No, sorry. No, I I was allowed to watch it as a kid. Actually, oh, it was really? another thing my mom did not like. <laughs> Wait, she well, it wasn't it, even that bad. It's not yeah, like that. But you saw no. Robocop and everything. <laughs> well, that was the thing. Like my dad is mm -hmm. well, like you know my dad is from he's from Ireland and he's you know he doesn't care like he you know he sees <laughs> Robocop and goes oh yeah haha ha, Robocop. It's a oh, kid movie. And okay. then I watch it and I'm yeah. traumatized for weeks or whatever. But <laughs> my mom was the, like, I was allowed to yeah. watch, like, anything that was... She saw the commercial where he puts his nipple up against the thing. He's like, oh, Billy. And she was like, nope. <laughs> yeah. You can't okay. see that. And then, yeah. so I was not allowed. I saw it later and mm. I liked it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, my family didn't believe in the rating system. Like, I saw RoboCop in theaters when I was three. <laughs> Jeez. So I was like that screaming really kid. With you guys seen RoboCop? Like, <laughs> oh, I grew up with RoboCop. I, Incredible. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm the only one who didn't get to see it. That I mean, it would have traumatized me. As, hey, hey, as it, it probably traumatized. At least, yeah. at least you got to see the <laughs> cable guy. Yeah, I saw the game. <laughs> the thing is, too, RoboCop is is one thing after another too. Like the guy getting killed by the Ed 209. Yeah. Oh yeah, 
point. And that's like so up. early in the movie. Too. And I that was remember, totally normal to me yeah. as a kid because yeah. oh, I watched yeah. it so Well, much. the thing is, if you don't understand violence, you're technically already desensitized yeah. to it. So it's just like when you're three, you're like, I, I, should, I probably shouldn't promote this. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. I probably shouldn't talk about it. It's fine. It's probably not fine. It's probably something severely wrong with us. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, pro- I mean, but yeah, uh, Cable Guy, I think it's pretty funny. I think it's actually a really underrated uh, Jim Carrey film. Yeah. I think everybody always talks about The Mask and, and Ace Ventura, but it's never really mentioned uh, when people are talking about uh, mm-hmm. Jim well, Carrey. And he was really funny. Everyone mm-hmm. always says, oh, this is a Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey movie, but it, it's technically a Matthew Broderick movie. Yeah. It's technically a Ben Stiller movie. That's true. Oh, he directed it. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Did actually, he's really? in it. He's in it as no like the way. criminal. The, the twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, know, you know, actually, about Matthew Broderick in this movie, I think the one thing that that I am consistent about is that his performance in it doesn't match Jim Carrey's. It's kind of like off. Yeah. And, and obviously, Jim Carrey, he's supposed to be playing this like weird cable guy. But the way Matthew Broderick responds to him in it, yeah. it's, there's something weird. That I can't really point my finger, but he he doesn't seem like. He doesn't seem like he's noticing how awkward he really is. Yeah. It's something weird. Whereas anyone else would be like, that guy's weird. I was going to go to that bed and bath place, and now it's closed. Well, maybe I shouldn't have come at all. Jerk off! Yeah. yeah. But I, guess I mean, he supposed- obviously has to, like, invite the guy in. He has to, like, go along with it. Mm-hmm. But there's something about the performance that just, yeah. it, mm-hmm. it doesn't click. No. Well, it's also rough, like, in, you know, 2018 or whatever whatever year it is um you don't really have cable guys anymore like you do but they just come mm-hmm. set service and they're gone like yeah. like yeah like they don't come out and help you they don't like oh you can rig the box you get to see the big fight mm-hmm. like they're not like your pal on the street it's just like they still don't show up on time well, yeah that, that part's got... still consistent i don't know man comcast they got that guarantee uh, let me tell you <laughs> it's, it's comcast <laughs> yeah so that's the cable guy um, so what about you guys? What movies did you think? Um, did you change your mind one way or another? What do you want to go with, Karen? You want me to go first? Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Well, what I went with was uh, Back to the Future 3. Yeah. Mm. Uh, as a kid, it was my least favorite Back to the Future movie just because I guess mm. like going from like the first one and then and then the second one being in the future, which mm. is yeah. really interesting, mm-hmm. to going to a Western, uh, I just, for some reason as a kid, I thought it was boring. Um, mm. And I mean, I was a kid. I loved the first Back to Back to the Future one is like one of my favorite movies as a kid, it's good. Like when I was Still, growing yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, and it, it's probably actually the reason why I wasn't allowed to do stuff so, because I used to run around yelling "Holy shit!" all the time after Marty was yeah. like "Holy shit!" <laughs> and my my mom was all like, "He's too impressionable." So, mm. uh, but as I watch it, like you know, when it, they'll always do like you know marathons on TV or something, mm. and they'll watch all of them and. I always feel like I think that Back to the Future 3 has actually become my favorite one because mm. it feels like it gets so tense. Mm-hmm. Like mm. the, the whole train scene, them having to get there on time, but also have to deal with Mad Dog Tan. And I love the the how Marty continues to be the innovator. Like he invents the skateboard in the first movie, and in this one he invents frisbees, <laughs> which is crazy. Like uh the, the the scene where he shoots the 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 shooting gallery and it's like, oh wild gun or where'd you learn to shoot like that? Oh, 7 Eleven. Yeah. yeah. Like stuff like that. It's like really um, it's such a good movie, and I really think it's the most underrated one mm-hmm. yeah. of the three. Well, this this came out what 1990. Yeah, so. uh, well, they came yeah, out 89 or 90. Yeah, yes. it was it, it was actually the same time. It was just that they released them 90. a year later. Like they, they yeah. shot both movies, yeah. had them done, and then well, because it ended with out. that uh, that the tr- it actually ended with the trailer. Yeah, so yeah. you saw in the theater, which I did. I saw mm. two in the theater. It ends with the trailer. Yeah. Um, I I like Back to the Future Three. It's not my favorite. I think um, I think Siskel and Ebert pointed this out when they did the first one. They really made the fifties feel like the fifties, mm-hmm. and then when they did the Wild West, they made it look like the movie Wild West. Doesn't yeah, look like yeah. the actual Wild well, West. Like look. so, um, you know, I'm six years old and this movie comes out. So yeah. this is Back to the Future for me <laughs> because you know that's like the first one I saw, which is yeah. weird. You know, just put on the TV screen. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I grew up in Tucson, Arizona, where they have old Tucson studios, where they actually filmed, like, um, all these old, like, spaghetti westerns and, mm. like, all in Clint Eastwood films. And it's still a park where you go and, like, you know, guys get shot down on the street. Mm. So, like, uh, like I would go to the Back to the Future 3 theme park, as it were. <laughs> so, like, that, so this movie does mean a lot to me, yeah. too, because I just remember that. It brings mm. me back, you know, then. Mm. But um, I, I like Back to the Future 3. I don't yeah. Know. I like the I, train. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I love all three of them. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know what it is, but I mean, a lot of times I hear people tell me, like, no, you don't understand. Back to the Future 3 is really great. I'm like, wait, but I love it. Like, what's, yeah. what's the, I might have done a review, like, a long time ago where I might have sounded, like, non-enthused or something. Yeah. Because... But the thing is, like, because in that one, I, I guess I probably talked about it, like, how I felt as a kid and how it got better. Because right. it did for the same thing for me. When I first saw Back to the Future 3 as a kid, I didn't think it was a good follow-up to 2. I felt like, because um, 1 and 2, I guess, it, I don't know, it might have had something to do with it because they're both in the 80s and 50s. Yeah. And it, and it kind of felt like the same movie twice, where the third one was so different. It was in the Old West. Yeah. And I must have thought like the Western was kind of like a dated genre. And I kind of just yeah. didn't, yeah. I wasn't into it as much. Plus the but, future scenes are great. Like, yeah. Oh, the yeah. Second, like, in the second awesome. movie. Like, yeah. The, yeah. The, 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 um, the thing is, too, but it got better. Like, like, because it's the same thing with me. Is like, I think it only took me one more watch. Like, as a, as like a, a teen or sometime yeah. later, I watched it again. and I was like, oh yeah, Back to Future Three is great too, mm. and it's great how it concludes it. It's actually like the conclusion where yeah. you know the thing with needles where he's yeah, like, yeah, they're in the the car and like they had that race or whatever, and they mention and, his accident in the other one. Like, yeah. oh, that's like when he had his accident, and you're like, oh well, what you know, yeah. what happens to Marty? Like, you know, like your future yeah. is not written. You know, mm -hmm. you, you write your own future, and it kind of wraps up with what the whole trilogy was about. Yeah. And, and I feel like it was a great conclusion. Mm. So yeah, I love all three. I mean, if I were to pick my favorites it goes one two three yeah mm -hmm. probably one and two significantly more than three i think i really do like one and two a lot yeah. more mm -hmm. but i still love all three well, of them. Like, like you were saying about cable guy like people were like oh it's almost like ta like you feel like it's taboo to say you like three and you like cable guy but everyone else is like oh yeah me too yeah, no. yeah. Mm -hmm. it's so. honestly i think it's like back to the future might be probably the only real perfect trilogy because it never needed anything other than the first three movies. Yeah. I feel like, you know, Star yeah. Wars. They we tried got, a cartoon, but yeah. I don't think anyone Well, yeah, about but that it. was like different. Yeah. And it, it did continue. Mm -hmm. It was fun, but it was yeah. like, but this movie, like, Star Wars, you got seven, eight, nine are coming out. You had mm -hmm. the first yeah. three to explain the beginnings, but this movie, the yeah. beginning and end feel like the beginning and end. Mm -hmm. I don't need yeah. to see any more Marty. I don't need to see. Doc is good. Mm -hmm. He's in the past. Marty's good. He didn't yeah. crash his car. Yeah. Like, I mean, and, and even just Return of the Jedi in general is definitely different thematic. Like, it yeah. feels yeah. different than the other two. Or at least kind of feel like the same yeah. thing. Yeah. That's true. But, but yeah, I, I think Back to the Future 3, uh, it's great. I It's mm -hmm. a fun movie. Uh, everything about it's pretty good. Uh, to be honest, like, it's not my favorite of the three, I guess. I know mm -hmm. I said it was, like, becoming it, but mm -hmm. it's, like, it definitely is, like, I think I kind of feel like each one is so, equal to wait, me, So, wait, so because of, from the intro, so you hated it, and now When I was a like kid, it? I just wasn't into it. Oh, I, mm -hmm. I didn't, like, I would always kind of, I would, if if one and two were on, I would totally watch them, but then if it was three was on, I would start playing with action mm -hmm. figures or going to playing something else. No. I would never, like, sit through a full marathon. Now I will... If Back to the Future Three is on, I'll sit and watch the whole thing. I I really like it. It's got a lot of funny little like mm -hmm. like ZZ Topper in it, yeah, and stuff yeah, like, yeah. like the dance and stuff. Like it's got some funny stuff like that. Like especially too, like the ending of two is, you know, without that um, mm -hmm. preview uh, at the end of it, when when you see the DeLorean get hit and then the guy from Western Union drives up and yeah. it's like you're really tense because you're like, oh my god, like what's gonna happen, like. Docs in eighteen, we you know, and now mm -hmm. and then you know, then they kind of ruin it by showing. Yeah. I think they should have probably just not shown the preview at the end and just yeah. let you. Be yeah. Because because the first and second one, so it's like thirty years and thirty years, and that one's a hundred years. Yeah. Right? yeah. Mm. It's always in the fifty-five. Well, this one's eighteen eighty-five. Yeah, it's from like nineteen eighty-five yeah, yeah. to 80, eighteen eighty-five, mm. and then nineteen fifty-five, mm. and then the other one was twenty fifteen. So it mm. was like they went back thirty years and went forward thirty. They, thirty. They years? also yeah. did do that in that Telltale game on PC where uh, they, they actually. Uh, <clears throat> continued the plot of the trilogy and uh, the next time mm. that they're in is like the 30s and there's like a a gangster who's in biff's lineage you know <laughs> oh that's so, funny and it worked it was, yeah. it was cool and it had the voices of, yeah. of you know christopher lloyd and they even got um uh michael j fox and i think they i think they might have had somebody else but um it was good um Michael J. Fox, though, he didn't do the main Mard. That was A.J. Locasio, oh, okay. uh, who, who I've met before, and he's, mm, he's yeah. great. Um, but uh, Marty, uh, Michael J. Fox, comes in as like a cameo later on. But anyway, without getting that's into cool. it all, it's, it yeah. gets so complicated. Any Jordan. last words on it? <laughs> no, no, I mean, yeah, that's it. Back to Future Street. Good movie. Oh, yeah, it, it is like, like, it. like a trilogy, like you said. Yeah. Like, even yeah. though there has been a game, there has been 
uh, cartoons. It really is still a film trilogy yeah. that isn't has yet to be tainted. Mm. And I don't think they yeah, can. Just please don't. Them. Please don't like if you're gonna think about rebooting it or anything. Please just re-release yeah. it. Put it right. back in theaters. Yeah. Yeah, do it I all think through luckily, movies, you know what I mean? I like, think, don't do special edition, yeah. though, please. Don't add do-back lizards. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Gale, like, has it, like, in his will, or he has some some legal document where they actually can't do it, which yeah. I think oh. is a, a good which thing. Which is good. Yeah, yeah, nice. Nice. It's actually the only movie trilogy I can think of that's protected in that way, mm -hmm. where they, they can't fuck it up. So. Also, yeah. shout out Robert Zemeckis, who is mm -hmm. one of the greats, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Shout out yeah. to Robert Zemeckis, we know you're watching. Robert Robert great, Zemeckis Robert. Watching, please. <laughs> yeah, love Monster House, great job, man. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Marcy's yeah, mom's could have been liked, better, actually. but... <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, all right, Tony, tell yeah, me yeah. what you got. Okay, uh, so this one's a little bit timely. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm picking Predator 2. Mm -hmm. I, I was big into Predator, um, unlike you or you. I was more like Justin. My parents did not give a shit about the rating system. <laughs> yeah. To this day, I don't know if they've ever seen Robocop or Predator, but they gave me the tapes when I was like two or three. Okay. I had all the pussy jokes from Predator memorized by the age of five. I didn't oh, understand oh, them. Oh, yeah. I, know I, I thought he was yeah. talking about cats, and I thought it was funny. <laughs> I was going down to my girlfriend. I said to her, Jace, you got a big pussy. Jace, you got a big pussy. She said, why did you say that twice? I said I didn't. So I was real into Predator, got real into Aliens, and um, it took me a while to see Predator 2. Because we didn't own it, and mm -hmm. they never bought it for me. Yeah. And uh, one day I rented it, and I I did not like it. Mm -hmm. I was like, where's Arnold? Mm -hmm. What What's oh, the yeah, city? Okay. Oh, what? Oh, Danny Glover's there, but no Mel Gibson? What's going on with this? <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is stupid. I'm like, oh. Weapon versus Predator would be yeah. actually kind of... Yeah, that would pretty be good. Which I thought was like, to me, it was like a good thing where I was like, oh, thankfully, like another Danny Glover movie because yeah. Mel Gibson did all these movies and it was like, oh, here's another one with the other Lethal Weapon yeah. guy who people don't talk about as much. Yeah, really. and um, so I didn't really like it at first. And I was like, oh, whatever. And then I, over the years, I bought them again because they came out on DVD and whatnot. And uh, as I'm watching, like, over the years, I love Predator 2. I think it's great. Like, a lot of problems with sequels is they uh, they do the same thing as the first one. Mm -hmm. And this, not really so much. Um, the Predator looks like he just wandered into an already awesome movie. <laughs> they yes, they kind of yeah. do that with Predator 1, where it's like they're, they're fighting the gorillas in the jungle and then the Predator shows up. But this one's even crazier. It's like, it's in futuristic L.A., uh, the cops have to, like, there's a war between the Jamaicans and yeah. the Cubans. Yeah, there's like a drug war, yeah. Yeah, it was the Cubans or Puerto Rico? I forget what it was. I, I think it was yeah, Cuban. I, I, I think it was Cuban. And um, there's this big war going on, and then a predator shows up. It expands on the mythology, which I really like. Because, uh, you know, they're, they're drawn to heat and conflict, they say, in, like, the first one. And there's like they so they set up the heat wave in in, in, L, in uh, Los Angeles. So it's like oh that's a reason he's there. Uh, there's conflict because they're shooting on the streets yeah. everywhere. Like like uh, unlike you, uh, <laughs> snob. Wait, wait, so how old are you when this came out? Uh, when was it come out? Like ninety two. I probably went in two or three. Mm. Snobby three year old. Yeah. I would, no, no, I didn't see you know, it until I, I was like eight or the, nine. Uh, I would look up the date on it yeah. if it was actually the real box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not the real box. Yeah. Um, that's what I was going to say at first. I was like, Dawn, Dawn of the Mummy. Dawn of the Mummy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sorry. You know, actually, we we do didn't have, have the VHS yeah. there. The, you know, the one thing I think funny. it's 92, because I think it came out the same year as Terminator 2 and Alien 3. Oh, mm. okay. And yeah. it's also got two space marines in it as yeah. cops. It's yeah, Bill Paxton. Yeah, 1990. Bill Paxton. And, 19, and, uh, oh, 1990. Oh, and okay. also John Connor's foster mom, too. She yeah. Also, oh, yeah. wait, no. She's not in... Yeah, she's the... She's oh, wait, an no, alien. Wait. No, yeah, is um, it her? No, no is this is Maria Conchita Alonso Oh, Maria Conchita Alonso from Running Man. From the Running yeah. Man, yeah. Which... But, um, Running Man. Yeah, so this movie, as I'm watching, I'm like, this is great. There's, like, so much going on, but it never yeah. feels like over stuff. Uh, there's, you get to see way more Predator gadgets. Gadgets that are now, everyone thinks of Predator, they think of the spear from like the video game and stuff. That came from this movie. Uh, the disc is great. Yeah, um, th that part where he throws it, I think it Gary yeah. Mason slices him in the in half. Yeah, like, yeah. That one part. That's so cool. And they, they show like the Predator has different visions, you know, like, oh, yeah. let me change this. And I think it's really, really solid. The effects are top notch. Yeah. I love the spaceship at the end. Yeah, which is kind of cool. And all the other predators come out like yeah, much like Harry's paint. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just and they kind there. of they kind of show that like there's different kinds of. So the predator in the first one was kind of a loner doing his own thing, and this one like oh they came as a group this time. So I'm like that's really out. cool. 
And I don't know. I think it's it's a solid film. Yeah. Uh, Danny Glover's great. It's got a big, like, diverse cast, which was, like, like crazy for the time. And I really enjoyed it. Uh, Arnold was supposed to be Gary Busey's character. Really? He was going to come back no as Gary, way. and then they got Gary Busey. And uh, Gary Busey's <laughs> great in this movie. Yeah, he is. I mean, t to be fair, I'd like to see Gary Busey in Arnold movies as Arnold. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Gary Busey and Commando. That's and... funny that it's another lethal weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gary yeah. Busey and uh, Danny Glover both yeah. in this oh, movie. And then yeah, there's, yeah. Like, there's so many people that are connected in yeah. a way. Um, and I like that it established that you don't need, like, this because the alien movies are kind of built around Ripley. Mm -hmm. And with Predator, it could be him versus anyone. So you never have, actually have to do a Predator reboot. It could always yeah. be a different Predator. And that's why that's Predators true, was yeah. good, because it's... Predators isn't like a reboot, it's just another oh, sequel. With Adrian yeah. Brody. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that movie was a little too much like the first one. There's some yeah. cool stuff in it, but Predator 2 is like its own thing. Well, 2 is cool, but sorry, Concrete Jungle. It's not called Concrete Con Jungle. No, I'm that's calling it video. Yeah, that's the video, video game. game I, the I like that game, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, fun. I liked how, you know, now it's urban instead of <laughs> super rural. Like, like, yeah, because you're yeah. like in a city instead of yeah. jungle yeah, yeah. warfare. Yeah. yeah. And I'm surprised they haven't done more of that. And I, I think the next one's going to be suburbia. But, yeah. But they've already done that Alien vs. Predator too. That's weird, uh, though. Requiem? It's like yeah. it's, he's running around like people's backyards yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. It was weird in Requiem, but. <laughs> This is a better filmmaker making oh, the new one. Oh, no. <laughs> but there's uh, something cool about seeing it in, like, Civilization. Yeah, like, yeah. I always thought it'd be cool to do, uh, like, John Carpenter's version of The Thing in Civilization. And see, yeah. See like, The Thing actually... Yeah. That'd be kind of Destroy people. society. Yeah, <laughs> I guess they never... Well, I mean, I, I... I do remember seeing the remake of the remake, but that, whatever, that's a whole that, story, That's a whole so. different thing. Um, but I would say check out Predator 2. The new movie is tied to it. Uh, Jake Busey is coming back as his character's son in the new movie. Oh, nice. Uh, so Gary Busey's character. I'm glad they're still continuing Predator 2. They're not Yeah, because like, they asked Shane Black because he was in the original. He was the mm. pussy joke guy. That's how I know him from the original. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, is this a reboot? He's like, nah, it's just going to be another sequel because they're not really connected. You could just do mm. another. Yeah. You could do sense. one in the it's Wild West. Predator 4. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. there are like, if you think, you, you, mm. you know, like, it could just be any yeah. you know place, any pre they just decide they really like Earth. Like they're like, dude, I need you got yeah. a skull. I need a skull, man. Well, well go Predator there, Two shows that they are on other planets. Yeah, they show right. the they alien show the skull. skull. They, there's some. Really that's there. a really cool part. And yeah. When the thing is, I actually saw this one first before yeah. the first Predator, and I think it works. You, you could watch these out of order. Yeah. Like you know. I thought they were gonna make when I saw the Xenomorph skull. I was like, whoa, they're gonna are they gonna make a yeah. alien versus Predator? And I mean. That the uh, at the time that was really I mean the arcade games great yeah. the other video games are great and, and then, then, oh, and then man, the movies if came out knew, <laughs> if only we knew I, I mean I like Predator too also yeah. uh, but I mean yeah I'm not gonna lie I don't like it as much as the first one yeah no no don't I think right. it yeah because I like the suspense in the first movie mm -hmm. better but I remember hearing so much bad uh, like so many bad things about Predator too and like yeah. oh this one's horrible and then I watched it uh, sometime you know as a kid yeah. and I was like. As a teen, and I was like, okay, well, this one's pretty good. I yeah, mean, it's not nothing wrong with it. So. Yeah, yeah. So, Justin, what movie were you gonna? Well, I have a movie right here, Karen. I have Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Oh, yeah. I feel bad because you know what? Like, I've heard about this movie. I've obviously seen clips from it. Mm -hmm. I know about the video games yeah. which are based on. Both the, the arcade game and the Genesis one, which were completely different from yes, each other. Yes. But all I remember is turning into a robot in the arcade. Um, but I have never seen the movie all the way through, so, so I have no opinion, it's unfortunately. So technically not a movie. It's more like mm -hmm. they enhance and put all the music videos of his together yeah. and then link them with a basic story. Mm -hmm. And there are sections with like full claymation, including one where they, he dresses up as the, uh, uh, the Noid. Yeah, from, it sounds um, amazing. Um, <laughs> by the way, you know it's all these weird sequences. It has you know the two fat guys on the motorbikes in it. They have all these like weird characters in this movie. Mm. It, Michael Jackson has to deal with his own fame and stuff. Like it's mm. it's so weird how many different sequences. But how the whole long is it is it like a whole yeah feature it's, it's hour feature length yeah. yeah and it's peppered in with this horrible story which sounds more like narc the game Joe rather Pesci than, by the way Joe <laughs> Pesci too. is trying to kidnap the kids like Michael Jackson is trying to help the kids. Joe Pesci wants to kidnap them. Kind of like Home Alone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah this movie geez. sounds crazy. Maybe it's the wet bandits beginning. So, wow. jo jo Joe Pesci is yet again a predator. <laughs> he's, he's, he's trying to get, he, you know, he's trying to get them. But he's like, he's not trying to steal the kids for something weird. Like, he's like not trying to like make them work in a mine. He's trying to get them hooked on heroin. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, is he's trying to inject them. He, he walks like, into straight the room up. and says, ha ha, you'll never catch me in giant bubble letters. And yeah. then yeah. Really, as yeah. Bubbles leads Michael Jackson to Well, that's from the arcade. Yeah, no, that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the, arcade, the arcade doesn't go into the heroin stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, I kind of lost um, You also when do I was, the same kid over and over yeah, again. Oh, oh, Michael, oh, no, that's Genesis. Um, when, when, when I was a kid, you know, I was, you know, clearly my family was big in the Michael Jackson like everyone else was. Mm-hmm. And I was big in the, like, the video games and, 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 and I don't know. And the music videos, and for some reason, like they made me watch this, mm. and I didn't hate this as a kid. I was terrified of it. Yeah, because Joe Pesci's coming at him with the syringe. Mm. There's all these like like New World Order guys in like black suits that like machine guns fire yeah. everywhere. Sounds crazy. Um, Michael Jackson's face comes apart when he's a robot. Yeah, yeah. oh, I've seen that part. He turns right into a car and everything. I, he like... turns into a car like. It transmutes. It doesn't make any sense because I guess they had to link all the music videos together and by making him a robot or this weird Transformer character, that made yeah. it easier. But the movie makes yeah. no sense. I I can only remember the very ending with the robot and Joe Pesci. And then I remember, like, they're, that's the one where they're dancing in the suits and he jumps on the car. And yeah, it, 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 yeah, it does that's a smooth on, criminal. Smooth, yeah, yeah, smooth which, criminal. That, those are the only two scenes I can think of from the, the movie. I can't remember yeah, I mean, anything else. I think else. the bad music videos in it as well, I believe. like It's like, I think Leave Me Alone too, right? The yeah, one where he's in the, which I love with that the roller coaster. Yeah, where he's on the, in the rocket and, and you ship. See, with, and you see the elephant That man video boom. is so well done. Mm. I There's, love that music So it's video. all the best music videos and then all these weird claymation scenes. It's very, very interesting and mon- mm. modern artists don't tie their music videos together. The, right? uh, yeah. the claymation scenes were, uh, I, pre- I believe, done by Will Vinton who came to my school oh, when possibly. I was in college and everything and he uh, he's the guy, he created like he created the Noid, and he did the PJ. Oh, then he's deaf. Oh, yeah, it's definitely the Michael that Jackson yeah. dancing like that rabbit. That that's dances. that's what it is. He did all that, and yeah. like he, when he came in, he was like showing. It. He had some of the models and stuff. He was like the cool. He was really cool because he, uh, you know, when I was in school and everything, and mm-hmm. I was going to art school and college, and I was kind of like, I'm never going to be an animator. And he was like, you need to just keep on doing. It. <laughs> and now I'm. How'd uh, that work out? You could be in. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, I I have a YouTube, I guess. <laughs> that now you get now you get to not monetized you. anymore. I mean, I'm on Cinemassacre <laughs> now, kind of. You know, I do mm-hmm. rental reviews. I, I mean, I, I'm sure. I mean, proud. I come to this video store and I rent new movies and talk to yeah. you guys. That's what I mean. This is way bigger than Moonwalker. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right? <laughs> well, yeah. And, and when I was, you know, like, and I was like, you know, what, I'll try watching it again in like high school or like college, and I couldn't find a copy of it anywhere. It might be because like Michael Jackson had a you know, bad PR in the late 90s, early mm. 2000s, like he was having a rough time. I had to get, like, an Italian version, like, Region 2, so I could only mm. play it on a modded PlayStation 2. Like, it was, like, <laughs> like, like it was, like, it was hard to find Moonwalker not on VHS. Mm. Um, but, no, I think it's an, it's awesome. I know it's on, like, blue right now, and you can easily get it and you know, whatever, but it's really weird mm. um, still. But we'll I, re- I, I really enjoy yeah. it, so Moonwalker. I mean, that's the thing. As much as people want to say whatever uh michael jackson's a genius and <laughs> i don't think anyone in the world legitimately does not like his music mm-hmm. oh yeah oh, you great. know it's like his music was like bigger than anything like when yeah. it was out you yeah know? like he i think still to this day like his music is still it's the, yeah. we're never gonna mm-hmm. have another one he was the king of yeah. pop gone black or white was like yeah, yeah. the most epic music video uh, of yeah. all time like, 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 like even the later stuff like scream with janet jackson yeah was like, that's mm-hmm. good that you video know. was cool when it came i remember yeah. and just in freaking thriller like yeah. Yeah. oh god yeah. he yeah. made thriller so yeah it, you know, <laughs> yeah yeah, so if you like feel thriller but weren't scared enough, watch Moonwalker. Yeah, um, so you With can watch Roa, yeah. Michael I, Jackson's face open up. I never got around to seeing it all the way through, so I'm gonna have to check it out. <laughs> all right, well, those are our movies that we changed our minds on. Uh, let us know uh, what you think. What which movies did you change your mind on? Thank you for checking out Cinemassacre Rental Reviews. Take a look at our other videos, and if you want to get some sweet Cinemassacre merchandise, head on over to store.screenwavemedia.com.